Um, we were here for approximately seven months. Seven, seven months. months. Um, we had a meeting with the oncologist and the head surgeon prior to her surgery. And mind you, all this happened really fast once she was diagnosed because it's an aggressive cancer. The head surgeon told us, don't expect much, we'll probably just get enough for the biopsy. Two hours into this three hour surgery, he popped his head in with a huge smile on his face and said, we got it all. We're done and we got so it. So that was the first miracle right there. And from then on, it's just one miracle and one thing, just like the family house, you know. That we were all stressed about where are we going to stay. And so we contacted Paul. And from then on, it was just, it was just wonderful. Experience being yeah, here. Yeah, well, you know, uh, sharing, living with people we don't know, and if we had it all over to do again, which thank God we don't. I would, I would stay here above any other place just because of the experience we had. Um, I got support from Family House, and I gave support to my family. And obviously, it's very stressful and very sad time. Um, but if it can be, if you can be made to feel good. The place and uh, made a lot of good friends here while we were here. Uh, lifelong friends. I will never forget these people, and I'm sure Anne won't either. Uh, she's cancer free. <laughs> she's doing uh, <laughs> fantastic. Uh, fantastic. Yeah, we, we, we're blessed. We're very yes. blessed. It's almost like it never happened. Almost. Almost. Her scar. God, the doctors, the family house have all put this together, um, and including Anne too, because she was right there with her. I was but a small cog in the wheel. Uh, said throughout this whole thing, she is the strongest person I've ever met, and she truly is, and will always be my hero.